Tell about you joining us, we want to say thank you for joining us at this time. Honorable Ronnie J. Samu have officially entered in Zozo City, that is Lopa County. So, whatever you want to know, I'm the S. Moses, I want to say thank you for joining us. This is the arrival of Honorable Ronnie J. Samuka in Zozo, here in Lopa County, since election. Today happens to be the first time of the senator elect Ronnie J. Samuka to enter in Zozo City. So, as you can see, the people in Zozo, they are all jubilating, celebrating for the arrival of their senator elect Ronnie J. Samuka. So, Honorable Samuka, Senator elect for local county, has entered in Zozo. Whenever you joining us, we want to say thank you for joining us at this time. As the Senator elect has officially arrived in Zozo. So, folks, we want to say thank you for us here. We are in Zozo here. So, the crowd is here waiting for the arrival of Honorable. Granny J. Samuka, Senator Elect for Lofa County. As you can see, they are waiting for the arrival of the Senator Elect Granny J. Samuka. Wherever you're joining us, folks, we want to say keep sharing, keep liking. And this is how we enter in Zozo. We started this trip sent this morning, and now finally we have arrived in Zozo District, that is Lofa County. The Senator Elect Granny J. Samuka have entered in Zozo. So speak to his people to tell them yes indeed I'm here. So wherever you're joining us, we want to say thank you for joining us to this crowd. The crowd is continuing to swell up here. So wherever you're joining us, we want to say thank you for joining us here. And we will continue to bring you all of the happening here as the Senator elect Franny J. Samuka here enter in Zorzo City, that is Lofa County. Here we come. Here we come. Here we come. All right. So folks, we are here. We are here. The people of Zozo. The people of Zozo. Here, witnessing the arrival of the senator in like for local county, Honorable Granny J. Samoka, here in Georgia. Here,
Yes, it has been. Uh, let me thank you and thank you for this in invitation. And I will definitely take the opportunity to explain to our people what's been going on. But before I do that, I'd just like to remind them that uh, the coronavirus is still in the country, that we need to observe uh, all of the health protocols that the Ministry of Health has been proposing and need to follow what our community leaders and our religious leaders are telling us and all of those involved making sure we can save our lives so that our people don't get sick, we don't spread the disease and what have you. I think recently, about a week ago, you heard that Ebola has just popped up in La Côte d'Ivoire, and I think they are responding to that by vaccinating the uh, certain segment of the population. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I just remind our people that uh, Corona is still around. Please. Yeah, and you and I were bitches. Yes, we, we were graduates <laughs> of the Corona. <laughs> <laughs> We were graduates of the Corona University, <laughs> so, and we survived. We thankful, but it was really it was really difficult for 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 Liberians in June. The month of June was really terrible. A lot of people died. Many people that we knew, particularly in Mon in the Monrovia area, it was very terrible. But I think efforts have been made. I have taken um, my first vaccination, the AstraZeneca vaccine. I've taken it. Nothing wrong with me, and I feel very uh, comfortable. I'd like to encourage our people to, to feel comfortable to take the decision. However, if you are a very sickly person with a very major sickness, you know, you may want to talk to the doctor before you, you take that decision. But I think um, I took it. I'm just waiting for the second one next month. And I'm definitely going to take it. I encourage people to take it, but consult your doctor. Okay. Talk to the doctor. So, I mean, other than that, um, yes, I left from here in December, I mean, in January of... Um, 2021, early part of January, and I went to Monrovia with the enthusiasm of, uh, of, of um, getting certificated. Unfortunately, uh, there were a couple of Liberians who uh, took a case against me for a variety of reasons to the Supreme Court, and the cases were dismissed, and then an um, additional uh, case was brought up, uh, this time by the Ministry of Justice uh, to the to the Supreme Court, outlining different reasons why I shouldn't. Um, the most recent verdict is that the court have determined that we should go ahead and pay uh, what they call the disability, mm -hmm. meaning whatever you, we say you should pay, you should pay that so that uh, you can have the opportunity to take a seat. So we came back to we came to Lopa County and we asked our citizens and all of our supporters to help us to to pay. And we are very happy to report that uh, all of the Liberians uh, who were supportive of us uh, from LOFA, uh, in Liberia, in the county in particular, in the diaspora, NIMBA citizens in Liberia, as well as in the diaspora, well meaning Liberians contributed. So we put all of that money together that LOFA County collected, and uh, that money was paid to us. Uh, however, the court said we should um, complete the payment of the uh, the remainder, what they call disability. So this week that is coming, our lawyers will be going to the court to understand what is the, the disability. And on the basis of that, then we'll know exactly what to do. But uh, the court did not stop, did not uh, say there's going to be any by-election. The court never said that. The court never said they were canceling the election result. The court, uh, the court never said that. Now then the... I mean, insinuation. No, 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 no. Because they're all, nobody's going to have by election. No, there's no by. The court never said uh, that. Some of that are going to be nullified. No, the court never indicated that. The court, the court simply stated that the disability imposed by the lower court, based upon the conviction that took place in the earlier, I mean, by that lower court, is that disability that needs to be removed. Half of that disability have been paid from our side. We paid about $191,276.05. Uh, 
So we'll go back to the court to find out what is the difference or what is the balance in the disability that needs to be paid so we can understand fully what the court is saying. Uh, as a matter of fact, the decision of the court guarantees that Lofa position is there. It guarantees that once Samakai cleared his disability, he can go and take a seat. Guarantee. It's stated very clearly in the room. They didn't talk about any by-election. They didn't talk about any nullification. They didn't say two days from now, three days from now. They never said that. So I don't know, you know, if people have wishful thinking. If it is, if it is an interpretation, then it's fine. They can have their own interpretation. But that's not what, that, that is not what we know. So on the basis of that, uh, my lawyers and I met uh, over the week uh, and just before I came. And uh, they are very clear as to what they're going to be doing with the court beginning tomorrow. Uh, there's a conference we have, what they call post Try a conference. That conference comes out on the 26th, which is on Thursday. The lawyers will be going to that conference. Um, the intention of the conference, uh, you know, may be something that the judge will say. But my own or our own interpretation is that for the judge to get an update as to the evidence of payment. That means all of the payment we made to that court criminal court seat. Mm -hmm. The three payments that have been made will combine the receipts and present it to the judge. And the judge will make a determination as to whether we have met the 50% requirement or whether we should be able to pay other money in the, uh, in, the uh, in the process. And during that time period, uh, our lawyers requested for what they call expansion. That is uh, to give us some additional time to be able to look for the money. Uh, the lawyers will be able to find out whether the judges agree to that. So yes, uh, Liverpool County City has the uh, receipt. The seat has not gone anywhere. Uh, anybody who is spending their money back here talking about by elections, I think they have a lot of work to to do. They can go and do their wishful thinking, uh, but it's left to the courts. But are you sometimes move when you hear by election? No, 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 absolutely For your not. seat? No, 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 absolutely not. I have no inclination of that. I'm not worried about it at all. I don't even think about it. It makes no sense to me for me to be worried about something that is not going to happen. So if the witching that, uh, you know, this can happen and, and they can come and run, I mean, that's their prerogative. They can go there. In fact, I'll be very happy if they can spend more money in Lufa County. Let them bring the money and give it to the, to, to the hospitals. Let them bring the money and give it to the university students, the community college students, uh, to the nursing students who need scholarships. Let them bring the money and give it to the teachers who need, who need salaries. Uh, and let them give it to the market women as, as loans. Let them bring the money. So it, it is because of some kind that they're bringing all of this money. Then let us encourage them to bring the money. In fact, let's encourage them to encourage the government to fix our roads. Then I know they really want to get this job. So <laughs> let them come and bring all of those things that I believe uh, that they think they can do. Uh, Mr. Sabokai, are you sometimes troubled by, I mean, the news that the Lofans voted for you or Wemile, and then up to now they are unrepresented? Well, it is a matter of concern. Because that was not our expectation. None of us expected that it was going to be that way, except those who were thinking otherwise. Uh, although we had a case in, uh, the case in court, but I think, uh, you know, there are legal issues. I don't want to, you know, express, you know, how I would, I would think it should not be, but we respect the decision of the court. That's what we have. When the Supreme Court makes a decision, whether you like it or not, that is the final habit of justice in our country. So whether you're happy or you're not happy, you have to respect the decision. And I respect the decision of the court and would therefore be complying with the decision of the court. We have no argument with that. And another thing is, where did Papi took the money from to pay so? Well, Lofa can't kind of contribute it. And do you know we have prominent citizens of Lofa who are business people? So maybe this is not your own money? No. Go check my account. I don't have. You they, mean you don't have money? I don't have money. If that's what you're trying to say, no. Yeah, it just came. Boom. No, 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 no. This money was being raised <laughs> over over a period of time. We made the first payment. Yes, but it was not eighteen thousand immediately. It was, uh, I think, eight thousand, and later on another ten thousand that was being made. I mean, that's the kind of payment. So we said, look, instead of just paying this money little by little, why don't we just wait and accumulate it sufficiently to the point where it is good enough we'll be able to pay. In fact, we didn't get. The last tranche until towards the end. That's why we went almost to the court late. We got to the court, uh, the steps of the court, almost about 4 o'clock when the people were leaving. Okay. Who were in the bank. I didn't go to make the payment. The friends of Samakai who are based in Monrovia, they the one who went to make the payment.
I was pushed by who? No, 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 no. When they, they should have worried about cast J-Hoy enough for rat. <laughs> J-Hoy for human beings. So they should start worrying about J-House. <laughs> president said he went to J and came back and became president. Kwame Nkrumah went to J and came back and became president. So J-Hoy is not something that, you know, you should see at so terrible. You, you were not troubled? No, I was not, no, 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 I was not troubled at all because I knew we were on the right track. I knew that uh, we were making every frantic effort to comply with the mandate of the courts. We but, respect the court. And once you respect the decision of the court, you have to comply with the mandate of the court. The people of Lofa responded. The people of uh, Lofa in America responded. I'm not going to disclose their names. The people of Lofa and other business people in Monrovia responded. Our Nima Koli, my mother is from Nima County. Nima Kwado responded. You heard him on the radio. Repeated in the States. They've been rallying. So I have come back to tell you this is the report that I'm making to you. Right. They were raising the money, and they are raising the money. I didn't make any clear distinction because I was never receiving the money. For accountability purposes, I did oh, okay. not. So none of the money came to Samuka. None, absolutely, not a single penny. All of the money went to the committee, and the committee did a tabulation. The committee went to the bank, and the committee made a deposit. I want to appreciate all of our people in Lofa County. I uh, appreciate all of our people in the diaspora. I want to appreciate all of those Liberians from Nimba, from Lofa, from even the southeastern region, southeastern region of the country, who, who contributed. I also want to thank Liberian people in the government, in this government, who contributed and don't want their names to. I will not even tell you which sector they came from. <laughs> you don't want to be fired. No, no, no. <laughs> I, no, even that very security region, sir, I can tell you that. Um, Liberian from all walks of life, I, any sector of the government. No, not even the institution that they work with, because they said to me, we know your integrity. We know you have worked. You've worked for the UN for seven years. With signature that authorized you on tens of thousands of dollars. Not a single penny got missing. You've been working for almost 40 years. To be exact, 42 from 1979. That's the good thing about freedom of speech. You can say anything you want to say. So they have the freedom to say whatever they want to say. I'm not bothered about that. You see, the good thing about people who lead is they don't worry about others. People who don't lead, don't have leadership skills, worried about other people's ability to perform. We should be talking about performing to move Lofa County forward so that our roads, the leadership can be established for our roads to be fixed. For Tetewaya Hospital to be able to pay for their staff, to buy drugs, for our students, for our women, but instead they worry about some kind. They should be coming here to you, telling you what plans and programs that they have, how they intend to make Lofa County better by their representation in the, uh, in the August body that is out there. That is what I believe they should be talking about. Now, whether it is some kind of money, whether it's, it's Miller that's contributing money or, or, or Tanu contributing money, it's not their business. It's not their business. What they should be thinking about is that which concerns them. You see, when somebody has nothing to do, then they're worried about the next person. I am so busy trying to do things in order for me to go to represent my county, I'm not have, I don't have the time. You remember my entire campaign? I never discussed my adversaries. Never. Not one day. Or if you ask me a question, I would tell you something different. Because I didn't think that was necessary or important to Lofa County. What is important to Lofa County are the concerns that we have about the conditions of our roads, our hospital that don't have drugs, our students going to school and sitting in very cramped environment, teachers working not getting paid, our agriculture program that need to get better improved, and better for warehousing so that when our, when, our, when, our, when our communities produce crops, there's a place they can store them so that they can have the ability to, for, for their products to be purchased. Our mothers and fathers produce planting. The vehicle break down on the highway and the planting get damaged. We should think about moving Lofa County forward and stop worrying about, you know, whether Brandon some guy is going to jail or not going to jail. 
So, uh, Senator Elijah, uh, somebody might say, well, they could have said you should be able to satisfy your disability. That's correct. Yes, and then uh, another thing it might be where well, you pay half, 50%. Right. Good. I mean, are you in the readiness to pay additional 50% well, that's what, that's to, what, to, to live your that's disability? Why I'm, that's why I'm out here. That's why I'm here. So what have you come to say? That's the very reason. Have you come again to request Lofi? Yes. That's my people. <laughs> I've come to ask them. I've come to inform them okay. what my situation is, and I've come to plead. So what are they saying, the beginning from BS Town? Lofi County? They never let their own down. They never let their own down. Okay. They never. Show me where Lofi County has let their people down. As a county, we never. So I trust the people of Lopa County. So they give you a positive response to your request? We're making efforts. Okay. And we'll see what, the, uh, what our visit will turn out to be. Okay, disability simply means that which was imposed upon you is a disability, meaning something that is crippling you, something that is stopping you, something that is impacting you, your ability to move straight. You know, I mean, that's a layman term. I can explain it. But what I mean, the disability imposed is the, um, is for an example, the sentence. But the sentence was suspended. And also the fine. The fines are still there. The penalty for restitution. You remember that? And what's the reaction to NPC? Oh, man. Why are you going to worry about NPC? Why are you what bring NPC in the other way? <laughs> I leave, it to, I leave it to the librarian people to judge whether that's the kind of political party you want to be part of. You, you know, sometimes I, I sit and wonder, I, I don't know, what's your personal feeling about some of these people, some of these individuals who are, I mean, all the time race, no, no, no. I have no, I have no personal uh, feelings. legal issues about, I mean, your senatorial no, bid, no. those who are breaking you up to this time, you are yet to take the seat to hit the ground running for Nova County. I have nothing personal against that. From your heart? From my bottom of my heart. I mean, you come from the military background. You won't say it boldly, but no, 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 I, I mean, on the contrary, no, it would be a on, different on, thing. On specific policy issues, on specific concerns, yes. I may have a different, but as an individual, no. Somebody who, I mean, is stopping your happiness? Because I, I can say Well, he took, he took me to court. Your satisfaction. He took me to court, so I'll go to the courts. If it is the determination of the court, I will comply. Okay, so, uh, Mr. Bobo, you... <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bobo, okay, Bobo, I see, no, I see. No, 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 I think I think let's do like that. Bobo will summarize because there are specific issues that I think he's taking note. Yes. You know, the question he's asking on the fundraising issue, on whether we have met on the issue of what is disability, what the court meant by that, and I think he'll be able to to summarize it. I, I would think, he, unless you want to do otherwise, but that's what. Yes, yeah, so I think we're taking a break to be back. I don't know whether you're ready for the break. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so, um, you know, recently the president, the chief executive visited your county, Lofa. Yes. That was in June, and you were one of the persons who called and said, well, the people should turn out to welcome the president. And I'm quite sure, even though you did not come up, for whatever reason, best knowing to yourself. But, I mean, I'm quite sure you watch through podcast and also uh, via radio. Now, I want to thank the people of Lofa. They came out in their overwhelming numbers. Mm. to demonstrate the hospitality of our people to the leader of our country. That's what Lofa County did. Lofa County respected the president. Lofa County honored him by their presence. They demonstrated that by the tens of thousands of those who turned up. 
and give great respect and reverence to our president. We were very pleased. We expected, and we saw him. We were happy. We danced. We went around, had a great time when he left. He provided things to our country. He made some very good positive statements. So I think Liverpool County did what they had to do as a council. That's what we're supposed to do. Our hospitality extends to everyone, but specifically to our leader, who happens to be the president. And that's what Lofa County is. And I believe that that's the kind of relationship I want to build. A relationship in my capacity as a senator is to build a very good relationship between uh, the policymakers of the government and the interests of Lofa County in a way that Lofa County can benefit. So there's a tangency that is the points the policy meet at a, at a point where in which you can get the support for building those concerns uh, that Lofa County needs. And I think Lofa County demonstrated, and I'm very happy. And I want to thank the people for turning out in their numbers. I mean, what, what can you boast of as an achievement, I mean, during the visit of the president to Lofa? First of all, what is important is that uh, there's a curiosity. Since the election, mm -hmm. Liberians all around the country hadn't had a chance to see the president. So that curiosity brought us out. We wanted to show the president that we are part of him, that his government, we are part of that government. Our road condition, he needs to see that. Our light situation, he needs to see that. Our hospitals, he, he can't see them from afar. So he has to see them in a more personal way. And that's what he did. He played, I think, he played sports when he came. He had games with people. He had discussions with individuals. So that's the kind of relationship we're talking about not an adversary relationship. We're talking about a relationship that gets to benefit Lofa County, a relationship that will bring to Lofa County the things that we need. So that's the kind of relationship we're trying to build. Mr. Samoka, you happen to be a statement, especially a diplomat. Yes. I mean, former Defense Minister of Liberia. What is your personal relationship with President George Weah? Because he said, I mean, you are a best friend. But I don't know, from your own side, what's your personal relationship? The He's my president. He's somebody that I knew back then in the days, uh, back in the 90s, when we were out on 9th Street. Even before he moved uh, to, uh, to rehab, to where he built the other house, I went to that house. I've been there with uh, many others where he built the house at the time. We were working in the United Nations. He was a UN uh, UNICEF ambassador. We've crisscrossed many times on international uh, engagements. Um, and he was a very good person. He's somebody that I know and respect very highly, very, very highly. As a person, I know him. But, you know, uh, he's now our president, so we have to give him that respect. So it's no longer just a friendship. It is a respect to someone who was elected as your president. So we have to give him that respect. Since um, this inception of your senatorial bid for LOFA, right. and since your election, right. pronouncing you as a winner, and all the legal battles, have you spoken to him therefore? No, I haven't, uh, haven't had the opportunity to speak to the president. I only spoke with him when I went to the Armed Forces Day program of, uh, 2000, of, 2000, of 2020, 2020, I think. 2020. 2019, 2021, he was greeting others. I you know, greeted him like everybody else. He responded. Uh, he knows me, uh, and I respect him very highly. Uh, he's an ambassador. He's a diplomat. So, yes, he's somebody that I know. And somebody who I have a great deal of respect for. Okay, folks, uh, we're having a special conversation with Lofa County Senator Elet, uh, Brian Jeffrey Samokai. Uh, there have been his concern about his well being. He's here tonight. Uh, he's telling you why he's here. And of course, we'll open the lines, don't worry. On the flip side, like I said, Mela is our controls. While Kalama is helping to bring us live, and the Today, Liberia TV is also streaming this live as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And so, um, Meda, I think we can take the course because. Uh, uh, <laughs> but I think Mr. Bobo is necessary, Mr. Bobo, summer rasp. Yeah, Before maybe he can do it somewhere uh -huh. now and get to, yeah. get to that. Yeah. Okay, thank you, um, Prince and Mr. Meda and crew. Um, I was going to the Loma. Mm -hmm. But just before we get to the Loma, I, I want to say thank you to the people of Lofa County. Uh, there was a question that you asked regarding how we're going to get the money. Mm -hmm. Right in Beyond Town, before the Senator Eli spoke, a lady got up and the entire town said we didn't treat them with justice because we were collecting the money to pay a contribution towards the payment of this money and we did not go there for their contribution. Mm -hmm. So they asked us that we should make
make sure we go there and get their contribution by next week. Again, it was repeated in, in Salaye. People came from Zolowo and brought money today. Nobody asked them for it. In, Zolo, in Salaye town, Zolowo people came. And other towns are also calling on us. What we're saying is we are sorry to them. Because when we're doing the rally, we didn't go there. We only did it in Zolowo and Salaye. But their appeal is granted. They said we should go to them in the towns. They have money to pay. So this is Lofa County speaking, and this is the spirit of Lofa County. Having said that, uh, I would like to summarize what the Honorable just said in Loma to our people who may not have the opportunity to understand what he said in English. Go ahead, Calabon. Loma Gite, Awana, Kazazini, Venegbo, Tama, Tanu, Bobo, Kazini, Vega, Kaole, Tema, Brani, Samuka, Twaga, Senator, De Lugaba, Kaledezini, Elena Tizi, Tilozini, Nivagi, Kaleda Tilozini, Nikea, Ava, Ga, Etsuro, Dema, Gla, Ama, Tiro, Kutizu, Kutire, Vui de Sarabe, Tresinima, Vui na Dema, Claire, Maneva, Navuli, Ga, Tubuga, Efe, Kani, and Navuli Nave, before Elever, eh, Zizu, or Galo Magite, Uga Plezeti, Uga Lufa Cantavieti, Depa de Bugaga, Maneva, Duboba, Navuli Nave, Bolale, Tolle, or Navuli Nazi, or me, can I come to Buga, Nakuti Buga? So, Avaga, Edemamaga, Navu Mongi Dukula, Defiazia, Tinavia Sakutia, Kakutia, Kani Adam Motavesa. Nama Asu Zama, Elsu Eli, Wuku Flugalazu, Manever de Navuli now, Dick Galaba, Defe, Kawale Atema Samuka, Efukutia, Kasamuka Boelum, Tong, or Navuli Nazo, Numatana, and that Navuli Luna da Fizitia, Tibitifi, Benkila, Tifukutia. Nama Vama, we doing with Zini, Salai, Zozo, Funjama, when a pet and a lofa can't a go money. Guy as a cigar in the pet a yaga, a so a fe, a do a de a de a cootizu, de capaginave, down one a look about as o a z, a dalia, the mavama. Tamatanu, Kesali, Bobo. So just as uh, Mela said, cloud my Emma my boy, mm. uh, uh, Kevin. Mm. So <laughs> I said, "Why are you looking at me? I can speak no more." I'm getting the message. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you got me. You got me on that one. <laughs> Please go away from your monitor, please. I want to tell God thank you. I want to tell God thank you for giving the mind today to rally around our senator. Well, you know, they rally here, it was somehow given because we didn't even know the date or where the rally was going to take place. So I want to tell all the friends of Samuka thank you. We all have Samuka at our mind. Most of the Vote business can move my heart, but I voted and went in the song. Myself, I voted for him. Okay. But so, I want to really tell people thank you. Any time of the rally, if I know the place, I will find my way there. All if right. I even have 50 or 25 I pay. Thank you. Your name we, again. We're doing right in We're doing right in Sukumo. All right, Samuel. Good morning. Oh, good evening. Sorry. Good evening. 
Yeah, how are you, Mr. Miller and you? Welcome. You there, along with us, you get. All right, I am bringing up Panama to call you for Salai. Well, I want to be people to go that today. We can hear our senator elect, Bernie J. Samuka, Kido, along with Tanuki Bubu. Oh, well, to be sincere, I am the coordinator for the Liberty Party inside this district. Uh, this morning, you know, we are the one up on the building. We know that he is our senator. Here, what he has said, it is the media of the Supreme Court. Higher decision making body, whatever they say, you can't go against it. So, you will pay the money? Uh, we are standing by him. And as I speak to you, I will go ahead and take my cousin, tell my little brief that they so can fund the brief because we know that he did eat our money. He did eat our money. And so we we fund the brief so long we like it for the European. We will save that money. All right, thank you. Prince Bana, you said I didn't Prince Bana, right? Thank you. Good evening. Hello? Yeah, how are you, Mr. Okuri? Good evening. I could say good morning. Good evening. Yes, this is so glad you could call you from Bogiza. Yeah, you live, sir, Mr. Kuboy. All right. Let me take this time to welcome S. Defense Minister Brandon J. Samokai and Senator Elias for Lufatane. Uh, I, twice now, I'm telling you. We are all right, even the members of Samokai, the friend of Samokai, CPP in Bokesa, we have met, and last time, even the chairman came, we spoke, and we are in a hug here to pay this money. One in fact, because we have spoke, we have spoken from the, uh, from the ballot, that yes, our favorite person is Samokai. Even if the court can carry him, and even the court can tell him to pay food, we are sending by him to pay the money. Amen. Thank you, sir. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Hello? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. You're too close to the radio. You're too close. Mr. Miller, I told you this thing. You always do that to us here. You're always close to the radio. I, I, it's a pleasure to get you away on the line, but you're always close to the radio. You damage our ear. Yeah, how do we do the job then? I'm Yeah. Okay, this is Mr. Miller. I'm coming from Selma. Uh, You know, Bonnie Samuka is our senator. We love him. You know, you can't, you can't dress the devil and bring us and make me change. Uh, well, I love what he is doing. But what I want to tell Mr. Bobo, the whole thing, the collection will be taking place in Sukhomo. Uh, is in the Sukhomo is going to do the collection or... The caller that called, hello, the caller no, that called. we call. also come to uh, tell him on Hello, that is my time. They call it a call, call from Telemo, uh, call from Sukramo. So it's a Sukramo specific uh, area of venue. So when you're in Telemo, they will still come to you. This is what I'm, I'm told. So okay. it's everywhere. This is what they're doing. Okay. All right, let me talk to this caller. Hello? Yeah, Mr. Miller. Welcome. Okay, I want to say a big thank you to our honorable, my name is Ibe Washington from Bokeza. Ibe, you on? Thank you. Yeah, welcome to our to our county. So actually, as Pakubo uh, just said, for me, Eric Washington, I'm in to pay 500 for our senator. Tomorrow Amen. morning, I'll, I'll meet Pakubo. Amen. Good to him. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, too. Thanks for the call. Let me talk to this caller. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Check a piece. Or James K. Pelewo. Some guys song. I want to thank the honorable. Thank you so much. You are making some of our pressure have gone down this morning normally. Oh. And I want, <laughs> yeah, exactly, Mr. Miller. We have been worried <laughs> because of the rumor that have been circulating in South and Southern District and beyond in Gopher County. And to say, I come and make everything clear. So I just want to tell you, thank you so much for behaving, you know, like the American said, with the American women mm. who realize. Trying to make people understand is thank God to the the Honorable Senator appear in studio. We kept telling people this is an individual with integrity. This is something...